Okay, so uh, Scarlet Spirit came out um, yesterday, and uh, I'll get the good stuff out the way. Like visually, it looks nice. Um, it's kind of nice, whole little squadly thing. Oh, I send you my kill kill. That, that's whatever. Um, but I'm getting a uh, Barry Debts vibe from this. Like this is Barry Debts 2.0 because essentially what you're doing, at least for the ground team and for the space, seems like a glorified mobile defense. And that's about it. Now I'm hoping, just like kind of like Barry Dead, it's going to be a boss fight that's going to be worth it at the end. But right now it's a kind of grindy because the prices are extremely like I feel like they're really inflated. Um, just to get some stuff out the way though, I'm assuming you know what what the ground team and space team thing is. Um, but if you do, uh, if you didn't know, there's actually you get bonus points for going certain rounds. For instance, I got a bonus of two thousand. You get this for going like this is so each team has like a rank like there's rank one through three and how you get the ranks is basically how long you go for so if you get a thousand points you get ground rank one which gives you two thousand credits ground rank two is i think three thousand points and then you get five thousand as a bonus and then uh ground rank three is ten thousand and that's because you went five thousand points in the mission and that's the same for space um, there is actually a cap on how many uh, things you can do on the ground, which is 17, or whenever the um, thing on the, what you call it, relay fills up, like it's say, like, oh, you know, 0 out of 100 attacking X, Y, and Z, like when that fills up, then you can't go any further anyways. So there's that, <clears throat> so there's that. Um, and in terms of what frames to build, or what frames to bring, uh, I'd say Wisp, Limbo, um... Volt and Mirage, cause you uh, for the at least for the ground team, cause like dear lord, what, I forgot the name of the thing. It starts with like a C, but that scaling that thing is ridiculous. Like I don't know if it's weak to radiation or corrosive. But I get like the same damage numbers, and yes, you can strip the armor of shattering impact. That's a thing too. So I might do shattering impact and viral to see what's going on, but um, but it's not affected by status effects anyways. But what I'm trying to get at is that like. I don't know what scaling factor they use on that thing, but it gets to the point where I had like a four times sniper combo counter, and I could be, and I was like plank like slowly ticking away at it. It's ridiculous. That's why I bring Wisp for the fire rate, and I use arcane momentum to fire faster, basically to reload and fire faster. Now this is my build. I use sprint boost just to move around more. Um, yeah, and then uh, this is you know Kuva Nucor just to deal with some. This to chain, and then this has shattering impact on, and that's all it has. Shattering impact. Uh, this does have a ribbon. Mine just replaces a uh, bell diffusion and horn and strike. And then for my vectors, as I said before, only reason I'm using prime chamber is that with my specific ribbon, adding more multi shot will actually be less damage than adding prime chamber. So that's why I have prime chamber. Um, I kind of wish. I don't know, like, I might have to form this again, because with this, I can fit it in, Sniper Amputation, but this is with Chroma, like, you know, with all my other builds, I can't have Prime Chamber and Amputation, which sucks, because I'm using Carrier for this, because you're going to need the ammo, so when it dies, I have to use ammo pads. Anyways, well, that's, like, the setup, but I'll show you what I'm talking about with the rewards. Um, oh, also, running this in a public squad, it is way better than running this in a public squad, because it goes so much faster for both mission types. Like you see how it says driven away. Once that reaches 100, you can't go any further. So let's just do this one. Um, in terms of which is easier, it is by far the Railjack missions. Easier, all you have to do is take your Railjack, throw the satellite where it tells you to, park your Railjack inside the anomaly so it, can, so it won't get damaged, and then just defend it. The ground team has it harder because you have to actually damage the mural, whatever, the... the giant thing with the orb in the middle and that thing takes a shit ton of damage and um yeah and then you have to defend it too so you have to do more on the ground team now you see this this is 15,000 and I have 4,000 right now so here's my issue with this event is that um if you go for bonus points that's not bad but as someone who runs public squads and is having the super optimized team because yeah i know i've heard stories with two people doing like oh i can do this in 25 minutes a super optimal team get 10,000 points well that's not the majority of the player base um the majority of people i've seen have only gone up to a thousand and just like left so realistically i'm i'm getting 3,000 points because i get a thousand from the mission and then 2,000 for the bonus 
So, and that takes like 30, 30 minutes on average. So I can get, you know, three of these arcanes that I want every 30 minutes. And then I can get um, two of these every 30 minutes. Now, here's a thing. Uh, as a solo player, I can solo the Tridolons in 30 minutes, or 30 minutes on average. And I can solo the, uh, well, yeah, I can solo the all three and then do the first two again within an hour but within 30 minutes I can do all three so I can do the tear list within five minutes and the point is what I'm trying to get is that within 30 minutes I can do roughly six tear lists so although I don't have you know the control to choose what I want it can, it's much faster in terms of running Scarlet Spear now I get it it's basically twice as fast or because this one gives me three that one gives me four but you know this one gives me what I want which is good and all, I guess, but I, I don't know. Um, and, I mean, especially if you run the Pug Squad, I'm pretty sure you can just farm Terrorless, like, within, like, like two to three minutes. So, it'd be even faster if you're just trying to get, you know, these Arcanes. Um, but these, I guess I could see the point of Scarlet Spear, I guess. Um, I don't know. All I know is that if you run Eidolons in, in a group or something, even a solo play, like, this is, like, good, but it, eh, it could be better. Um... Also, yeah, again, the price is like 20, 20,000, 15,000. Like, it doesn't seem like, you know, oh, you're at 4,000. Yeah, well, that took me about like like two to three hours, so, or I think two hours. So, like, you know, it doesn't feel good. And then you also have to build this thing, and of course, it requires, you know, railjack things. Unfortunately uh, enough, I, I do have enough to build it, but still, like, it's, it's I don't know. And then Stance Forma, I don't understand what a Stance Forma, why does this even exist? When you can use normal forma to polarize the stance slot. Like the idea is that this is just like an aura forma for your stance slot. But why not just either throw in the wrong stance. Because you'll still get more mod capacity. Because all melees have a seven mo 70 mod capacity. And with the wrong one I think you have like a 60 or 62. So again you still have more mod capacity even with the wrong stance. So what is the point of this? I don't understand. Um, and then you have to buy the new semi locker room. 5,000 like that. I guess that's not bad. But what I'm trying to get at is that this feels a lot like buried debts where it's cool like at least at least okay, at least there's no nullifier bubbles stapled to the enemies. That's that's fair enough. But um it's like the same thing. Also, yeah, there's a lot more ground squads and space squads who saw that. I mean fun again, funnily enough, the space squads is way easier than ground squad. Um let me do a solo one real quick to show what I'm talking about. I does I don't think it scales as hard when you're solo, but still it's kinda of ridiculous. Um, anyways, what I'm getting at is that I feel like this, uh, I really hope that they tweak some of the numbers or something, because this is going to go on for the entire month, um, so maybe they won't tweak the numbers, but I hope there's like a good boss fight at the end, because this reminds me a lot of buried debts, and I didn't like buried debts, because again, all I did was just mobile defense, and I don't, I don't hate mobile defense, but when I, if that's the only thing I'm doing, that's kind of bored, I thought there'd be, um, multiple mission objectives kind of like assault where you have like multiple missions inside one but no it's just like shoot a thing uh kill sentience drop op link defend like that's like three steps and they're not even it's not like not even a different gameplay loop it's just like the same tree, you know yeah i forgot what it's called a uh, chondrix Yeah, so I'm doing like 4,000. Uh, ah, damn, I should have. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know why I thought I had the Paracesis for a second. Alright, so I was doing like 4,000 and 2. I even saw 1,000. Um, I don't see. I don't think stripping armor does a difference. Like, I don't. I don't know what's the difference. I mean, maybe because I'm not running viral, which has bonus damage, like viral heat. Because Viral has bonus damage to Flesh, and then he has bonus damage to Flesh too. So I, and I'm assuming Flesh means like unarmored. Um, so who knows? I'll try that out on the next run. But and it, you know, like I know I make it seem like, oh look, look how easy this is, look how quick this is. But if you go in a squad of four, it takes a lot more than what I'm doing right now to kill it. It's like I don't know what kind of scaling. Like it has some crazy scaling on that health.
I mean, stripping the armor helps, uh, maybe, but I haven't noticed a difference. But I'll change my elemental to see. Actually, I don't even know if I can do viral or viral on this because I'm using two fucking dashboard. This one, but anyway. well, we'll see, anyways. I'll see if I can make it work. Yeah, then you need to deploy your op link and you defend, and that's it. That's the entire event. Um, okay. that's it. Now, this thing doesn't heal. So, and it does remember how much damage it took, so over time, you know, you will, uh, you will fail. And then yeah, you get a kill code, and then you, you send it to someone. Now, this thing goes, you see how slow the scan progress is going? That's because I'm, I'm by myself. It goes, again, I, I'd probably be finished right now if I had a squad of four. So, there's that. Um, here, you know what, I'm going to leave this one and then switch to... Oh, so you can't pause it because, you know, it, it's squad link, so they're transmitting stuff to other people. Um, now let me see if I can mod this for something different. Because may maybe, like, I'm not using the right elemental combo, because I already stripped the armor, so let's see. I can't fit pulled on here, though. Here, how about this? We'll take out Prime Chamber. Uh, oh man! <coughs> oh god, I have a cough. Oh god, I might have it. Now I got the one where <coughs> I'm taking the back of my throat, but I can't get it out. <coughs> no, I have, I have the the coronavirus. It's too late for me. <coughs> All right, so viral, and then. I kind of wish I could test the same build, um, like, you know, like, just swap out this for this, but we're gonna have to make do with these polarities, so let's see if this actually makes a difference with, um, with what you call it, with the, whatever. Pretty sure someone already figured out what the best elemental combo was. I heard the Redeemer's pretty good, but the Redeemer's always been good at just shitting out damage, so... Yeah, but again, in a team of four, I'd say Limbo, because, you know, you make this complete joke, so there's no nullifiers. Um, Wisp, just for the fire rate bonus, and just speed in general and health and survivability. Um, and Mirage for damage, and then Volt for, like, his shield and damage, I guess, for the bonus. I mean, I feel like the third, I feel like, you know, Limbo is mandatory. Well, like, you know, like, not mandatory, but, like, he makes it a lot easier. Wisp, too. And then, like, Mirage, maybe, because she has the best damage per, uh, outside of Banshee, which I'm pretty sure this thing can't be affected by Sonar, she has the best, uh, damage multiplier in the game, because it's multi so, we'll see. Alright, stripped armor. Now, we'll probably be, let's see how much damage we're doing. Alright, we're doing, like, I was gonna say less, but I am shooting more shots, so, who knows. Um, right now I have no idea what's the the best the uh, best elemental combo for this is right now. Maybe it's already on the Warframe wiki, which one's the best. I'll look it up later, but I mean this is what you do for the ground mission. I would show the railjack mission, but I don't feel like queuing with people right now, and my railjack alone is pretty shitty. It's like the basic bitch one because I don't play railjack. But yeah, this is the this is literally the entire event. I mean, for oh, for most people, because I don't think a lot of people are gonna do the railjack mission anyways. Because then a lot of people like railjack. I don't know. Maybe I feel like if I had a prime car rounds, I'd be doing more. Damage. Maybe maybe uh, viral is the way to go because it doesn't have any armor. Who knows? Um, yeah, that, that's that's about it uh, overall. Am I disappointed? Um, uh, just t a tiny bit like I wasn't expecting too much, but it feels like Barry Dead's 2 2.0 like yeah The settings different and enemy fashions different, but it's essentially the same thing. I guess squad links a neat little thing I guess um, I haven't ran into, into any bugs. I don't believe I have I mean I've had had it where they like um, I've heard people not receiving kill codes in the railjack mission that's that's about it. Um, also, you get a lot of neurons here. I, I have a resource booster for my login, but like I think the unique sentient guy always drops 
uh, Neurodes. Like the one from the cinematic, from the era cinematic, the one with the hands. Looks like a bird. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that, that's about it. Uh, honestly, I really hope they change something because if this is what we're doing for an entire month, I could, I am already feel broke bored. And again, I haven't gone super hard. I've only played like two hours of this. And this thing came out like around like 12 o'clock for me in the afternoon. So, and I started playing around like five. So like from five to seven, I just played this and that's it. I don't think that's like super hardcore. <laughs> so yeah, if this is all there is. I, I yeah, uh, okay. Anyways, bye.